Here at CBS2, we are celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and we are kicking it off with a little funk. Yeah, that's right. Tina Patel joins us now with the story of two women making waves with their own unique style. Tina, I've been looking forward to the story all week. Well, good morning. You know, if you have ever seen a Bollywood movie, you probably know that music and dance are a big part of South Asian culture. But here in Southern California, some dancers say there wasn't really a lot of place to practice and showcase their art beyond family celebrations. So two dancers that we talked to said they decided to start their own company. don't recognize any of Shivani Bhagwan or Chaya Kumar's choreography, that's because B-Funk is something they made up. It's a mix of the traditional Bhangra and Bollywood dances they learned in their South Asian community and the hip hop and funk styles they were exposed to growing up in this country. So I think we love fusion because it just like allows us to express different aspects of ourselves and different aspects of our culture because you know we're always trying to like bridge the gap between our Eastern roots and our Western upbringing. The duo had modest goals when they first started teaching beef on classes in North Hollywood six years ago. We really wanted to cater it to professional dancers based in LA where they could learn Bhangra or Bollywood and um, South Asian styles of dance and use it as a way to set them apart at auditions. But it wasn't just professionals who started filling their classes. And very quickly we realized that there were so many people just like us that were longing for South Asian dance to be a part of their lives still. Even more people found Shivani and Chaya when they started posting their dance videos on social media. Millions now subscribe to their YouTube channel. Thousands follow them on Instagram and TikTok. They, come and they, they, come. they say they're constantly getting messages from people around the world taking their online tutorials, people who had never attempted South Asian choreography before. I think it's awesome when anybody wants to engage or interact with your culture. It makes you feel seen and it makes you feel like yeah, we are pretty cool and we do have something cool to offer. Of course, there are detractors. Some say they're not being true to their roots. Others accuse them of cultural appropriation. We get it on the daily. And it's tough because I'm fully South Asian. I'm fully Indian. My mom is Punjabi. But um, sometimes I'm still told you're not of the culture, so you cannot be teaching it. But Shivani and Chaya say their doubts go away when they step into the dance studio. They're finally teaching in person again after doing mainly virtual classes during the pandemic. In March, they had a special class for the holiday of Holi, and they say the energy that day reassured them that dance is the best way for them to represent their cultures and themselves. It is art, and art is very subjective. There's no right or technically wrong way. It's just whatever feels good for you. And for the first time since the pandemic, B-Funk is going on tour, having classes around the country, but they say they will be back here in Southern California this summer and having more classes locally then. Chris and Rachel. And Tina, I wanna ask, you know, while covering the story and doing those interviews, did you get a chance to learn any awesome dance moves yourself? Oh, that's a great <laughs> question. We wanna see too. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I tried some of their online tutorials and I will say, even though I have a bit of a dance background in Western dance, at least, oh. I had trouble. Uh, there's a lot of cardio, there's a lot of jumping. <laughs> and I was telling them, I'm older than you guys. I don't know that I can do that. But actually what they said is that their classes are for all ages, all levels. And they say, it's all just about people being supportive. You don't have to, like we said in the piece, you don't have to do it a right way or wrong way. It's just about expressing yourself. And they said that's what's really beautiful about everybody coming together in this way. I agree. That is so awesome. We we all feel like we can do it, even though we might Speak not have yourself, the best rhythm. But... <laughs> Exactly. No, that, that was so no cool. No judgment. <laughs> no, I love it so much. I was out of breath yeah. watching them. But, <laughs> you know, being able to listen to them and see the high energy, cool stuff, so much fun, and uh, a great report right there. Love that. It makes you want to dance, right? It makes me want to do something, maybe, you know, <laughs> a, a, a hit workout or something, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. You'll have to come and teach us in the studio. Yeah, we'll, we'll play B-Funk music. There love you it. Go. Yeah. Thank you, Tina. That was so cool. So we have special content throughout Mates leading up to our special Amplify that debuts May 25th. That's streaming on CBS News Los Angeles.